Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where yes, we are back, back with a bang. What a bang that we have here, right into Igor time. This one, we got our Fibonacci time on Igor time, on the volatile point of the day. This is going to be a good one. This is going to be a really, really, really good one. Uh, I hope that you're all super excited for this one. Uh, wow, I mean, already... Already we're over at 1,000 people. Hello, 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 hello. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> Whose beard did I steal? Yeah, I've I've woken up a new man today, new man. Well, it's been like, it's what, it's, it's, what, it's been about a month, I think, since I made my last YouTube video. So, um, oh my, oh my, oh my. It has been a while. Um, and people are already getting me scared by saying the no sound, the no sound comment that comes out every time. I was going to have a heart attack, but I'm pretty sure there's sound. <laughs> I have very much hope so anyway. Uh, somebody always gives me a heart attack, I swear. Um, anyway, yeah, obviously we're gonna we're gonna have to start with looking at Bitcoin because that's that's pretty much the start of the show. Although I've actually been up since <laughs> very early to this morning, five a.m. since five a.m. looking at GRT. So uh, obviously going around trading a few altcoins as well. So if you are interested in looking at some of those altcoins, let me know. Uh, obviously, I know the altcoins I've been trading. I know the altcoins which I think are interesting. Um, so yeah, I want to look at Bitcoin first though, because that's obviously the most volatile right now. And then we can move on to some altcoins because I've literally been the whole day. Well, basically, I've been giving a lot of my focus over the last two days of of altcoins. Obviously, Bitcoin a little bit, but the altcoins are, are pretty nice at the moment. Um, and with that said, should we, should we jump into Bitcoin then? Um, well, have a guess where we are at. It does. It's not going to take more than two guesses, I don't think, here. What, what level are we at, ladies and gentlemen? Um, what level are we at right now? Are we at, are we at support or are we at resistance? What do you think? Okay, that, that's, uh, I love this, by the way, look at this, 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 this gives me all the comments from Twitch, it gives me all the comments from <laughs> Twitch viewers on the real alpha, this is epic though, I can see all the comments in one screen, it's so much easier, um, back again, back again with a bang, back again with a bang, had to come back on the most volatile day, yeah, <laughs> we had this one preset, we had this one preset, but of course, you can see a lot of the comments coming in now. Of course, we are at the CC resistance. If we just add on these levels, I mean, what? hey, well, I might as well just do it for you. To show you the, the pool that we got going on here, obviously taking it from the high on the 10th of February. Okay, from the high of the 10th of February down to that low that was put in on the 14th of February yesterday on, on Valentine's Day, of course, it had to be. Um, we are right up into the CC right now. You can see we literally just absolutely tapped the top of the CC. So... Um, you know, decisions, decisions time, ladies and gentlemen, decisions, decisions. What do you think you should be doing right now? Do you think you should be longing uh, into this level? Or do you think you should be shorting into this level? Uh, or do you think you should be playing it patient at this moment in time? Obviously, I would never advocate longs into this level. This this for me is like, um, what can we say? A bit, of a, a bit of a crazy place to long. Uh, because why? Because we are at resistance. I do think that we got bigger. We got the bigger range that is going on here. Okay, so we do have the potential. Of, it's, it Mike actually done a, a similar uh, video Monday. I think he. Uh, man, I forget the dates. Last week actually, I think it was Friday last week, <laughs> um, where he was talking about this bigger range that's going on, where you have like the low of this. We moved up to the high. Okay, we've actually built a kind of a higher low right now. We still have the potential of this overall range, okay? So we do have the potential, obviously, of still pushing up higher. But that doesn't mean that you should just YOLO long into resistance, okay? At these type of levels, you expect the pullbacks. Of course, you can get continuation. You know, if we test this a second time, you know, two or three more times, e.g., you know, you come into that top of the CC once, you get the pullback. If you hit it again and again, you expect it to break the more times it's tested, of course. But... Yeah, one, 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 one wouldn't long into this resistance the first time it's hit. Again, though, you can kind of do whatever you want. Uh, open interest, obviously looking really nice. Um, you know, these are the type of things that you're looking at with the open interest of, okay, do you want to aggressively short this? I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, open interest, really, really, really uh, bullish, to be honest with you. Uh, let's see what we have going on here. We have no real bearish um, divergences, which is obviously classed as bullish. Um, let's see on here on the delta. So coming up into this level, 
4.7 million longs. Let's just bring this back a little bit. So we started off the rally with a big 39 million long order, bringing it up with uh, basically coming on 10 million. Few shorts opening here, another 6.5 million long. And then as we start to reach into this CC, so another 5 million long open, 7.1 million, 2.7. Okay, we saw a little bit of shorts opening here. So e EG, the open interest is considered bullish here. Okay, the open interest is definitely considered bullish. Uh, we definitely got the momentum right now with the bulls. Okay, this is just things to bear in mind. So yes, we are running. Yes, we are at this resistance. But from the order flow, this is not considered bearish yet. Uh, the only way that you would really consider this more bearish is if you actually get a, f a, a bigger rejection here and you're left with like lots of trap longs. Um, so, you know, you, you run into this decision a few, you know, you run into this, this decision that you have to make regularly in trading. And that is, do you want to be like ultra, ultra aggressive and try and short the absolute higher this move when you've got the order flow going against you? Or would you be OK with potentially missing this short and shorting from lower? That's the option personally I would take. And again, I don't really want to influence people too much on their decisions here <laughs> because otherwise they'll come with their pitchforks if they miss the short position. But in my opinion, this is looking bullish. Um Again, it doesn't mean I would long into this resistance, but it also doesn't mean I would short here, to be honest with you. And how do I come to this decision? Well, really simply, um, well, really, really simply, <laughs> the order flow, to be honest with you, is the only reason I would say this. If, if Imagine you had no order flow, you couldn't, you weren't seeing any of these orders come in, then you might be like, hey, pff, short here, stop loss above that high that was put in, could it work? Of course it could, but... I don't know, when you're looking at this, you can still see you've got lots of buy orders stacked here. You've still got the still got new buy orders coming in. You know, this 7.8 million short position instantly bought back up. Yeah, for me, this this is a bullish order flow. <laughs> so we'll have to see how the order flow treats us. It normally treats us pretty well. <laughs> um wow, 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 wow. Hello, 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 everybody. Um yeah, we got, the, we got the bullish moon cycle. Now, honestly, though, today we are actually running into our really big Fibonacci time. So, uh, yeah, the volatility is to be, like, really expected. And this is why I love Fibonacci time. For real, Fibonacci time gives you massive, massive, massive heads up. I mean, I got this Fibonacci time pivot from my champions live stream before I went away. This was what? How this would this was like one month ago or month ago we got the fibonacci time pivot so it's like pfft, one month ago we were aware of this fibonacci time pivot so uh yeah it's just magic it is magical <laughs> it's magical anyway we'll keep our eye on this let's see if we will come back and take this high so the things that you're also looking at here okay really simple things such as the market structure as well low high higher low higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. This is still at the moment a higher low, isn't it? Okay. To change this market structure on the local term time frame, you would at least need to do this and break that lip pivot low, put in that lower high. Okay. And then you'd be looking for your next lower low. But at the moment, the market structure remains bullish. I'm, um, you know, for me, this order flow is not bearish either. So everything at the moment still looks towards uh, more upside, to be honest. Of course, though, you were at the CC resistance, but you've obviously got a daily in there as well. So obviously, you know, acknowledging the resistance and acknowledging, hey, is this a, is this a trade that I want to take? And for me, it's not. For me, it's not. I'm also more, in, I'm, personally, I'm a little bit more, I'm, I'm actually trading the alts uh, at the moment as well. So we'll see how they go. But anyway, Hello, what a what a start to the show. What a start. I hope that you are all doing very well. Wow, we have 1,700 people in here right now. That is a lot. For a, for a what day is it today? Tuesday. For a Tuesday morning, <laughs> when I know like most of our American viewers and people from the other side of the world are going to be in bed or sleeping, uh, we actually have a, have a really good turnout. So good, good. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are in the world. Hope you're well. Uh, obviously, I guess I'll do a bit of an introduction since I'm back and we got a little bit of time to review this. Um, obviously, yeah, I've been away for a good month. Um, as I was saying in the Champions live stream that I done on Sunday, done the Champions live stream on Sunday. Um, 
this was like the longest break that I've took in 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 a long, 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 long time. Um, obviously, it was brilliant. Uh, we we went to. Oh, let me show you. Let me show you some stuff. Obviously, we are focusing here on Bitcoin. I'm just more interested to see if we change this market structure or take this high at the moment. So, of course, we're going to keep our eye on this closely together. Uh, but obviously, what we were doing is we were, first went over to Mexico, which was, oh, my God, insane. Uh, these are all Chart Champions members, all Chart Champions. So we've done like the Chart Champions meetup, uh, which was crazy. <laughs> Safe to say that was crazy. Um yeah, lots of lots of different people all over the world coming together just to say hello. Like, wow, never ever thought that we would get this. Like, it was it was insane. We had a we had a good turnout. Obviously, we were scheduled to have over fifty over fifty different chart champions uh, coming for this. Uh, in the we were scheduled to go watch a music festival two days before the event. The event got cancelled because of COVID. Ah. Uh, annoying very annoying not gonna lie but still we had a great turnout we had a, in the end 28 people um so yeah considering the the main event so to speak was cancelled to still have so many champions come together and just to say hello meet other champions meet other traders and uh you know the friendships that were formed from this that oh, was beautiful to see i'm not gonna lie that was that was really 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 beautiful to see <clears throat> So yeah, obviously started out in Mexico for a few days, just uh, really simply the only reason was to say hello to the chart champions. And then obviously we headed over to Colombia. Uh, Colombia, wow, what what a place, what a place, what a place. <laughs> kind of fallen in love with this country. Uh, I was already in love with the country, I'm not going to lie, but I fell in love with it even more. Uh, as we're just watching here, Bitcoin. <clears throat> da -da 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 -da. Let me just check. I like to just check on these things. Yeah. So yeah, obviously fell in love with Colombia. Uh, great. You know, this was the thing I was with, obviously with Mike. Uh, Mr. Mike was out with me. We were we were working and we were also partying. It's, it's a place where you can do both for sure. <laughs> Lots of parties. <laughs> like we say, work hard, party hard. That's the way to live your life. And we definitely done both. Obviously, the really exciting thing for all of you watching is that we have built a totally new platform uh, from the ground up. Uh, this will be released to you all within two weeks. You can hold me for this within two weeks, hoping one week at the most two weeks. It's pretty much all finished. But the, the, like I was saying before um, in the Champions live stream, this was if I'm in front of my computer, there's no way I'm getting to work on anything because all I'm going to do is looking at the charts all day long. You know, this is my addiction. This is what I do. So if I want to get to work, I need to get away from the computer, period. So headed out to Columbia with Mike. We got to work. Um, the platform is basically ready. You're going to have that in about one to two weeks max. Uh, it's just like the final bug checks now. Um, and yeah, you're going to absolutely love it. Just trust me. You're going to love it. And it's it's going to change the way you approach trading. It's going to change the way you approach education. Um, it's going to be amazing. Let's just say that. It's going to be amazing. And you're going to have that within, within one, two weeks, absolute maximum. But yeah, it was, uh, well, I mean, I have no words for what you're going to be thinking. Uh, it's going to be good. What can we say? Uh, as Bitcoin is still here coming up into this resistance, um, trying to get through though. You can see here the orders are still stacked to the buy side. Everything's still looking good. Um, <laughs> Isabella, Colombia, vamos, viva Colombia. <laughs> hola, hola, hola. <laughs> watching while at work it's 4am got to do the grind you got to do that grind can you trade from the us this guy says can you trade from yeah of course you can trade from the us um we have many traders in our group from the us and they all trade um <laughs> viva colombia cuanto argentina Tal vez pronto, amigo. Ya veremos. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of nomads in Mexico. A few of the, a few of the chart champions members were living in Mexico. Um, so yeah, there, there definitely are. Colorado. Ah, yes. Hello. You were there at the meetup. It was a blast. It was a great time. It really was a great time. Um, da -da 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 -da. Uh, yeah, we actually have got a lot of people over from Turkey right now. We had a lot of people from Turkey, man. Uh, which is cool to see. Uh, anyway, Bitcoin is just chilling here for a little bit. So I'm debating if we take a quick look at altcoins. We take a quick look at the uh, quick look at a few alts. 
Uh, which altcoin? Uh, should, we, should we have a bit of a game here? Which altcoin do you want to see? I know which altcoin I want to do, which we're obviously going to have to do first. But um, let's let's see. Which altcoin would you like to see? What we what there needs to be is an option of doing a poll because it would be so much easier to do like a poll. Um, it would be a lot easier to do a bold poll in the comments because the po comments do come in a bit too quick. Have to say, three out of three harmonics played out, and one of them was the Bitcoin price action. <laughs> Thank you. Without you, none of this is possible. Love you. Love you, Joey. Great to see you doing the harmonics. Of course, harmonics are life. Harmonics are love. Harmonics are life. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I thought we might get this. With the, with the altcoins, it's really, really, really difficult to actually... Um, see the comments <laughs> then, then youtube needs to add something like twitch has where you can just add in a poll because yeah with, with the comments it's really it's, it's extremely difficult but i do see a lot of comments for dot and that's nice i see dot i get kind of kind maybe my eyes drew to it i see dot i see dot i see dot <laughs> so maybe we'll do dot on the screen i see four dots <laughs> And you all know I like dot anyway, and I was going to cover dot anyway. So uh, we'll 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 take it as this, Mr. Dot, because I mean the comments are extreme. As somebody said, <laughs> the, the altcoin which must not be named. But um, yeah, <laughs> we'll start by looking at dot. Then I think um, obviously this. this oh, actually, we have a bit of a backstory before we cover before we take a look at dot. And this is this is the hilarious thing. This this is the absolutely hilarious thing. So uh, as you you may or may not know, we have a bit of an influence on the market, so to speak. With our what would I say before? <laughs> with only paper trading. <laughs> well, I can't remember the the, the the really funny quote that I'd done. Oh, what was it? I need to find it because it was absolutely hilarious. It made me laugh anyway. Where was that post? Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> Moving the market with paper trades requires a specific set of abilities some consider to be unnatural. <laughs> yeah, paper trades only, ladies and gentlemen. But last night, what what we got, what we went for was which altcoins shall we fill up the orders of them? I basically was back on thinking, hey, I want to play some games here. What game shall we play? Let's do pick the altcoin. Pick the alt. And which altcoin was picked, ladies and gentlemen? Of course, of course, of course, it was our one and only dot it was our one and only dot uh which we then went for so it be let's go if you're not long you're wrong when we pick our one uh this guy just long dot times 50 with his life savings i'm sure it's a joke of course but anyway you can be the conclusion of what you think we picked dot yesterday at 2133 2133 you want to see the reaction from dot at 2133 the answer is only up the answer is only up uh, from 2133. OK, this is the bit where we said, hey, which altcoin are we going to buy? The answer was dot. This is the outcome. You can be the you can be the decider of uh, what happens when we put on our buy walls. I put on massive buy walls, uh, of course, with paper trades. And uh, well, this is the outcome. And then this is what I mean: moving the market with paper trades. Yeah, this this requires a specific set of abilities. Not many people can uh, can obtain. But yeah, this is why we love dot. Basically, because. I, 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 well, if you've been in the group before, you know, I'm a, you, you know, I like Dot. I really do like Dot. Uh, it, it's one of these coins, you know, you know, to bring this more serious, I suppose, that when you're trading altcoins, of course, there's hundreds and thousands of altcoins out there. Well, maybe not hundreds and thousands, there's thousands and thousands and thousands of altcoins, yeah? And you've got such a big, massive selection of altcoins to trade. And what I, what, what I've done is, limited these thousands of altcoins because let me tell you this why do i i think this is so true why do people lose so much money trading altcoins yeah why do they lose so much money time and time and time and time and time again people get wrecked on the altcoins why is this it's because they are continuously chasing the altcoin which is pumping the most yeah let's say for example well, it is. GRT today is up 
Yeah, we were getting into GRT yesterday. Uh, GRT now is up 16%. Most newbie traders are going to be like, hey, let's look at what's up the most today. Oh, GRT is up 16%. Let's buy GRT. And this is the wrong mentality. And the average person that's in this space is continuously jumping from the altcoin that's pumped to the altcoin that's pumped to the altcoin that's pumped. And they are continuously buying the tops of these pumps. Why? Because it's this emotional draw into the coin. It's this like fear of missing out. Like, oh my God, this coin's pumping so hard. I need to buy. Then you start to see people shilling it. Like, it's just the same cycle, 100% again and again and again and again and again. They're continuously jumping into these coins, which have already pumped. Yeah, you see it all the time. Whenever I ask, you know, it's like I say, which altcoins you want me to cover today? I guarantee a lot of them are the altcoins which are the, up the most today. To be honest, it's just like a, it's just a similar cycle. Um, and so what you, what you really, really, really need to start to focus on is getting into these altcoins, obviously, before they've pumped, yeah? Um, what you need to do is focus on altcoins which are in accumulation phases. What you need to do is, is focus and select a, let's say, a bunch, let's say maybe 10 altcoins, which 100% respect your technical analysis. I will tell you this now for, for you know, just tell you this, that altcoins have their own personalities, yeah? So, for example, when I know Link 100%, when I trade Link, Link absolutely loves the CC, yeah? You can just, you can just trade CC all day long on this coin, okay? Um, so, EG, each altcoin has its own set of um, personalities per se. It has its own level of respect. Okay. Like for example, if you're trading link, you can just use Fibonacci and yeah? it's really, really, really powerful. If, if you want to trade, for example, uh, Ethereum, then Ethereum also works really well with order flow. If you want to trade, uh, let's think if you want to trade, for example, uh, Cardano, then Cardano loves to run liquidity, yeah? It will draw down, draw down, draw down, or draw up, draw up, draw up until it hits those major highs and lows. So, like, each altcoin has its own personality. And if you are jumping from one altcoin to one altcoin to one altcoin to one altcoin, and every single day a new altcoin, how on earth are you going to know the personality of that coin? Well, the answer is you, you really cannot know the, the personality of it because you haven't spent enough time trading it and this is why personally i have like a, a you know a select handful of altcoins that i religiously trade because i know how they work i know the levels that they respect and then it's just repeating that same pattern again and again and again so i think like if i can give one one kind of tip here to the to you all it's um work work on trading this tr work on selecting a handful of alts and kind of quote unquote religiously trade these like focus on these altcoins trade these altcoins understand the personalities of them and uh stop jumping between the altcoin which is pumped the most yeah and if you find it difficult to do that um you need to work because uh, you need to work on yourself because it shouldn't be that difficult. The only reason why you might find it difficult is simply because you have massive fear of missing out. Uh, with that said, Bitcoin's still actually hovering up and around this area. Not really doing too much here on the Bitcoin front. Uh, let me just check something on this. Um, ba -ba 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 -da -ba -da -bum -bum -bum. so yeah. Uh, let me take off this screen. So yeah, I mean, <clears throat> Dot obviously had one of these really massive, kind of big pullbacks from fifty two dollars all the way back to sixteen dollars. This this pulled back seventy percent. We're talking about a seventy percent pullback in eighty two days. You know, this is crazy, crazy big big pullbacks. But at the end of the day, it's kind of like this Bitcoin situation. It's like this fractal, yeah? Bitcoin is doing this channel doing this channel on a on a smaller term time frame. Whereas dot at the end of the day <laughs> is doing this on a much larger term time frame. We're talking about a range here, which has lasted over one year. So overall, DOT is still within this range. Yeah? It's, it's got strong support down around, you know, you can see the support that comes in each time around $14, $15, and the clear resistance, which is around $50. It's a, it's a big, 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 big range. But at the end of the day, it is just range bound. Clear resistance at $50 clear support down and around $14. So what what does one, again, I have to do this in a way of emphasizing no financial advice here. I'm not a financial advisor, of course. Um, we're talking about paper trades only. 
as we do with all our altcoins. Um, but what we were thinking to ourselves is, hey, you know, if we can get in a great area of value and we're trading these swings on a long term time frame. Isn't this the area that one looks to buy? OK, uh, if you break $50, I actually was buying some dot up around $52, to be honest with you. I was buying dot up around $52 as well. But you have to remember, I was buying it from $16 literally every single day. I was buying this every single day. I was still buying some around $52. But as soon as we had then lost and back tested $50 as resistance, I well, actually the way that I done it was shorting. I, I shorted dot as well because you know, I'm massively exposed to the asset. Um, <laughs> I needed a short for a hedge. But, the you know, and now let me explain, you know, this is educational. Why was I buying DOT up at around $52? Well, the reason was because we had obviously hit 50, you know, $54, $55. We had come back, we had back tested $50. We had then got our reaction off of $50 back towards $52. You know, I'm really happy continuously buying. And you have to remember, I have a really, really, really low average price because of the reason I had been buying it from literally the lows. And my thought process at the time is, hey, we could go for a breakout here potentially. Okay. And... In the end, we didn't get the breakout. We bounced off that CC. We come back, back, back below. And we had obviously then seen that fake out above $50. At that moment in time, non-emotional, no hesitation. You know, there was two shorts that I took on this. One was obviously a simple hedge from losing $50. And one was when we lost our uptrend line. We obviously had this really strong uptrend line and we had this uptrend, uptrend, uptrend. We'd lost it and then we had back tested it around $38. That's obviously when I took the bigger short. But... um yeah, it's just like this This case of, could have it broken out and the range had ended here? Of course it could have. And this is what you've got to be prepared for. But as soon as you see it come back into the range, non-emotional, non-hesitation, you know, take your hedges. And obviously from there, we, we you know, we dropped another you know, over, over, over 50%. So it's like one of these things that you just got to trade it non-emotionally. The, 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 you know, the same here. This is obviously a buy zone. This is, in my opinion, again, just, just my opinion, this is a buy zone. But, um, you know, should it should price break down here and, and lose the range low and start to head lower? Well, obviously, one would hope that you're still in hedges at this moment in time. Um, and you just got to you just got to, you know, approach it non-emotionally, like not be scared, not be worried and just be thinking to yourself, hey, uh, I'll be ready for the next opportunity when it comes. You know, trading is a game of probabilities. You're not going to win every single trade with that. It obviously comes down to risk management. You cannot overexpose yourself. You cannot go 100 percent into something, um, you know. Use good risk management. Use good diversification when you're going across your portfolio. Know the type of trade you're taking. Is it a swing trade? Is it a scalp trade? Um, you know, when you start to, e.g., have that plan, you know, you, you're really not emotional when it comes into when it comes into the decision making time, so to speak. Um, Bitcoin's still here, hanging around, not really doing too much. But yeah, I, I suppose that, yeah, it all comes down to having a plan now, whether you're trading alts, whether you're trading Bitcoin, whether you're trading the stock market, whatever you're trading, you need to have that plan in place. Otherwise, you will get wrecked. And I guess that that all comes down to that first part of the people that are jumping between altcoins to altcoins to different altcoins every day. Do they have a plan? Have they thought out weeks in advance where they're going to buy, where they're going to sell? The answer is the answer's no, isn't it? And why do they get wrecked? They have no plan. So their plan is to fail. Um. I mean this in the nicest way possible, but most people fail because they literally have no idea what they're doing, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, anyway, that was DOT. There are a few other altcoins I'd like to look at here. Bitcoin's still obviously struggling up and around this CC. And again, is this a surprise to us, ladies and gentlemen? No, it's not really a, su a surprise per se that Bitcoin is finding a resistance at the CC. It's not a level that you're expected to just slice through like butter. Of course, you're going to hover around here. Some people, I'm sure, are going to be taking their shorts at where they are. Some people are taking shorts here. Some people are taking profits on their longs. E.g., if you manage to get in longs down here, this is definitely a sensible take profit. Okay, and the ways that you could approach this. Let's just say you managed to get into those longs last night. Um, obviously, the long, the bit easiest long would have been when you come down and took that low. You know, you've got this really move, big move down into the low. It would have probably been the easiest opportunity. Let's just say that you took that for the educational reasons. You know, that if you got into your longs here, this is a really nice take profit one, isn't it? Yeah, this is a really nice take profit. Actually, I probably would have thought you'd have already hit take profit one. Actually, you kind of come up through these highs really quick. So maybe you could have just trailed your stop loss here, to be fair. Um, at the end of the day, though, this is naturally a really good take profit one. And then how could you approach this then? If you are long from here, 
This is a good take profit one. Doesn't mean close the whole position, but it does mean a good take profit one. That way you're granted two opportunities. If you then do get a pullback and you kind of get a nice bullish reaction off of the pullback, the take profit, let's say you take 20% profit. You can buy 20% back here and look for this kind of triangle to, to push you upwards. E.g. if you form something like this, you expect that continuation though. A, B, C. One, two, three, however you want to look at this. E.g. if you are taking profits here, you are granted with an opportunity to buy back lower if you get a pullback. Alternatively, because there's always two scenarios to every flip of the coin. The other flip of the coin is you take 20% profits here, let's say, and price just continues upwards. Well, at the end of the day, some people, I know for 100%, some people are going to be like, oh my God, I took 20% profits and price went up. I could have made even more money. I'm so annoyed. This is the wrong mentality. This is the wrong way to think. You should be thinking to yourself, hey, I made money. 95% of people in this market lose money. I, I, I'm a champion. <laughs> I'm happy. Um, it's all about the mentality and the way you think. If you if you are long from low and you don't take profits at this area, it's like, come on. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like, come on, man, <laughs> think. <laughs> this is a good take profit, even though uh, one, one can definitely be looking looking for higher, in my opinion. Um, and then again, with the short, I, I personally think the short is, is harder here, uh, simply because of the order flow. It still this really is not looking bearish at the moment. Yeah, the only reason it looks bearish is if you change this market structure. So for me, this is not a short I would take. Yeah, this is not a short I would take. I'm, I'm really happy to say that even if price moves down here, I would miss this short position. Yeah, for me, I'm, I'm not really that bothered if I miss that short because it's, it, again, you have to always think in the highest probabilities. My brain is literally functioned to just think, what's the highest probability trade? If I see me coming, if I know, you know, we have got a daily on a CC. This is a good confluence for a short. But then if I lose that extra third confluence of good order flow into that level, that for me is enough to say, hey, I don't want to take that trade. You know, it is. It really is. Because order flow has saved me more times th than it's hurt me. So the, the worst that I would do here is miss that short position. I think the worst opportunity, the worst thing for me is losing money. If I miss a trade, it's not the end of the world. If I lose money, well, it's also not the end of the world. But it's also like, ah, why did I, why did I do that? I didn't listen to my probabilities. Um, you know, it's just not something a good trader is going to do, is it? So... <laughs> uh, yeah, for me, I would prefer to miss the short here than, than take what I would class as eh, not a massive high probability short trade. Yes, I understand the confluence, but, you know, this order flow is not bearish for me. And that for me is such a massive factor of deciding how to take a trade. Um, anyway, I hope you are enjoying the insights. And again, for the people that don't understand what we're looking at here, this is the thing. We literally teach all of it. Wow. We teach all of this and more. Um, and we also have, we have also, I mean, yeah, we the amount of people now that have like started, there, it's pretty crazy to be honest. But obviously now we got so many people uh, starting their own YouTube channels, taking inspiration from us, learning from us, doing their own things. I mean, it's kind of crazy. I mean, at the end of the day, I got to say good luck to them all. Uh, but it is kind of it is kind of it is kind of cool, I suppose, to see all these little students of ours coming out and trying to do their own thing. Hats off to them, I suppose. Um, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's great to see loads and loads and loads of people learning and trying to trying to better us, I suppose. Um, as we are still on this section of the chart, we could look at the next altcoin. We could look at the next altcoin. Oh, we got wait, well, we got two thousand people in here. Hello, everybody. Uh, let me say then, if you are enjoying, if you are enjoying the live stream, hit that like button, smash that like button. We got 2000 people in here. We got 1300 likes. Let's see if we can get, reach this to 1500. Hey, all I ask if you're enjoying, hit that like button, smash that like button as hard as you can. If you're happy, I'm back. Wow. It has been a long time. I know for a fact a lot. Of, some people, <laughs> I, I, I'm sure, I'm sure some people were happy I was gone, but a, a lot of other people were very happy I'm back. So if you're happy I'm back, ladies and gentlemen, smash that like, smash that like. Where was these comments the other day? Yeah, this is what I mean. Like, this was after the Champions live stream on Sunday, and honestly, like for me, it's just reading the comments and the happiness of. For me, it's just so, it's just like mind blowing. It's just like mind blowing. I'm just some random guy that's good at trading. Like, it's, it, it, that's it. I'm just some random, random, random guy. And I share what I know in trading and people love it. 
Uh, people love the passion and the love that I have for trading, that I'm sharing my knowledge and giving these insights. And like the reaction from it is just like to see so many happy people, happy faces. Oh, I mean, I mean, let me tell you this. Words cannot describe, words cannot describe, I guess words can describe. It's like a, a sensation of, pr of feeling proud, of feeling happy, feeling content. And let me tell you this, it is a sensation that money cannot buy. Money cannot buy that happiness. And so for me, like to see you all like happy and like, People were like, oh my God, he's back. I mean, it makes me lost for words because I'm just thinking to myself, wow, this is crazy. Like I never, ever, ever imagined that that would happen. And so, yeah, for me, it's like my motivation. It's my motivation. It's, I don't know. It's just like a really, really feel good feeling, you know? Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, I just want to say thank you, everybody, for all the support. Honestly, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's, it, it really is mind-blowing at times. When you stop and think about it, it's... Well, I mean, the, the, the biggest thing when I stopped and think about it was this. People from all over the world, literally all over the world, America, Europe, <laughs> South America, people all coming together just to say hello. Um, wow. That, when I stopped and think about that, it was like, wow. This is this is crazy, like a good crazy, a good 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 crazy. Honestly, a good crazy, <laughs> but it was crazy. Uh, but it made me very 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 happy. And also obviously the people that were making friends there. So oh, it was beautiful. <laughs> it was beautiful. Um, anyway, Bitcoin, come on, make your move. This is the problem. I, we all know what's going to happen. I'll end the stream and Bitcoin makes this move. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Anyway, we can look at a few more altcoins here while Bitcoin while Bitcoin makes its decision, I suppose. Um, da -da 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 why did you stop streaming? It was simply because I went away. I had to focus on some work. Um, oh yeah, this was the other thing that we were doing while out in Columbia. This was this was heartwarming. This was this is this is some heartwarming photos. I don't have all of them, but oh my god, look at me! Um, yeah, obviously we've done some some charity work out there as well, which was which was which was nice. Um, but this was this was in Colombia. But we, ha I, I th obviously I I don't really speak so much about the work that I do with this, but a lot of people are really 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 interested. And we are going to do, if you're interested, in it, let me know, actually, let me know. Are you interested in the se in a segment of, because we do have um, something about this, if you're interested. So let me know, are you interested, simply yes or no, in seeing some of the charitable work that we are doing, um, helping with some of the stories behind these photos? For me, I think it will make you cry. Um, so you're going to have to have a, made me cry. It's going to, yeah. I mean, it, it, obviously we are a trading channel. We're a trading channel. This is our whole focus. But I think some of the stories behind it, like this is the thing that I was speaking to some people and they're like, how do you, how do you, um, you know, what is success in life? What is success? What is happiness? You know, that, you know, myself, other people in the group. We could go out, we could buy Bugattis, we could go buy Lamborghinis, we could go buy yachts, we could buy, go buy $100 million houses. Um, but do, do people want to see this? Do, does this equal success? Does this equal happiness? Is this a type, you know, we have to think to ourselves, what do we want to share? Do we want to share flashy things? Or I want to, sh personally, I would, I, at first I really was against the idea of sharing this. But then obviously I talked about it a bit in the past and people people are really, really, really interested. From what I saw, people were really interested in it. And then it's like, we can share things which I think people don't care about or we can try and bring back, you know, building things, building opportunities, building jobs for people, building a Chart Champions University. Yes, a Chart Champions University. Building things that are going to literally change the world. Things that are going to bring happiness. Just like massive goals that people are going to be like, hey, this is something special. Yeah. So it's like, how do you use your money? Once you've got money, how do you use your money? Do you use it for yourself? Do you use it for others? And well, I think I know without how, I don't think I have to say how, how I use my money. Um, hopefully you can kind of 
<laughs> you know, I don't need to say it. But I mean, yeah, let, let us know if you're interested in some of these stories, because we did, we do have some. And, uh, um, and I personally think it will make you cry. It's extremely heartwarming. Flamingo. Oh my God. This is hilarious. I noticed this the other day that literally nearly every photo that I have, I'm wearing this top. <laughs> this is the thing. If, if you get to know me, you know, I'm so, I'm so like uh, the homeless guy. Like every time you see me on stream, I'm wearing the same pajamas. I think nearly every time you see me now in a photo, I'm wearing the same top. Now let's, let's say that I have lots of tops that are the same. That sounds better, no? I have lots of tops that are the same, of course. <laughs> but I noticed that the other day. It's like, oh man, I need to uh, probably not wear the flamingo top anymore. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I thought people would be interested in it. Well, obviously we talked about it uh, last time. And people were very, people were interested in it. But yeah, you got to be, you got to be ready for, uh, you got to be ready for a tear in your eye, I think. Um <clears throat> Yeah, I was always against talking about the philanthropy. philanthropy. Again, my English is not the best philanthropy, philanthropy, because it's kind of like one of these situations where people are like, eh, he only does good to talk about it on the internet, etc. It's like, I don't know, for me, it was like a really cringy, never really wanted to talk about it. But then you also have to think, hey, there's going to be some people are like, hey, this guy's only doing it to talk about it on the internet. <sighs> you know, it's generally, generally speaking, though, it's like the one percent. Yeah, it's the one percent that make the most noise. I think a lot of people are will 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 love it to be honest, and hopefully, you know, it encourages people to give. That will be the goal of it. Um. Anyway. Um. Yeah, it's cool. New YouTubers are out, but it's very clear that they are literally copying everything you do and say and give no credits. I see it all the time. Hey, <laughs> somebody else had to say it because I couldn't say it. But yeah, of course. <laughs> Well, actually, a lot of the lot of the people that are well, this is the thing. Obviously, we teach so many people now. They're going off and creating their own channels, creating their own groups, and most of them will discredit us. Most of them will say, even though they've literally learned everything from us. If you look at their analysis, it's a it's a, like this guy says. It's his, it's a literally a copy of us. They're copying everything that we do, and it's kind of sad when you think about it that then they only go on to try and discredit us, calling us X, Y, and Z under the sun. Uh, what what is their motivation for trying to say that we're bad when they've literally learned everything from us? Why why would they want to do that? Well, I think it's fairly obvious if you have half a brain cell why they might want to do that, because they probably want you to, uh, to to join their group. I would have thought. Who knows? But yeah, it is. It would be nice if they could give us credit, but I don't think it's ever going to happen because the only credit they'll give us is probably bad credit, even though they learn everything from us. <laughs> and let me tell you this, actually, this is kind of funny. What is the difference then? If if you have the apprentice that's learned everything from us and they are essentially teaching our, our materials, okay, what is the main difference then? Why can sometimes we have levels that are respected, levels are not? And it comes down to this, it comes down to the volume. This this, this this is a big reason, though. It comes down to the volume that you can trade with. CC Pool, we've only been back a few days. We already are number one. Number one on the trading volume on Bybit. I don't think anyone else is going to be able to show you stats like this. Yes, yeah, so that's over 1 billion volume already. 1 billion volume. We've only been back a few days. And this is why I think we need to keep on at Bybit official here. Come on, Bybit. I know you read this tweet. <laughs> We want the CC pool PNL card. You know when you when you share when you share your um when you share you win a trade and you can go on Bybit app and share the share the picture. I think for the amount of volume we're pushing into Bybit right now, in the billions, we deserve that PNL card. So Bybit, you got to reply. Come on, I know you're here. I know you're watching. Give us that PNL card. We want it. And I think we deserve it. We deserve it for the volume. <laughs> we deserve it. We're making your books right now. So come on. Go smash the retweet on this. Tell everybody at Bybit, hey, we deserve it. <laughs> we deserve it. Come on. <clears throat> but yeah, that, that's a big difference between us and everybody else. We have the volume that nobody else is going to have, period. Simple as that. And that's just a fact. <laughs> uh, anyway, I digress. I don't want to talk about other people. Uh, let's just focus on ourselves. So, As oh yeah, Asim, that's the other one that we were buying yesterday, pumping in those limit orders. It was kind of insane. Atom, yeah, well, how many of you are interested in Atom, I suppose? I think Atom's a brilliant old, another brilliant altcoin. Um, 
Oh, God, yes. I just saw some uh, an interesting comment. I think I probably best to ignore that one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I will look, take a few of these comments in. Buy a bit, way better order flow, Coinbase and Binance useless. I 100% agree. <clears throat> Obviously, we are partners with Bybit, but I partner with them simply because I honestly believe they are the best exchange, period. Um, so yeah, in my opinion, yes, Bybit does have the best order flow. Um, <laughs> Litecoin. Um, nah, like, like, I, I'm, I'm not going to check where are you? I actually haven't looked at Litecoin in a while. It's that 1%. Nah, Litecoin's boring, man. Uh, Litecoin's boring coin. Um, <clears throat> um, will the price yes the price is not going to change um, do I like the fundamentals of dot you know this this is the thing yeah I have successfully traded these altcoins very well if you've been in the group more than a year the levels I've been accumulating and being able to sell it again um, I've been very good and I, I will tell you this I have no idea the fundamentals of dot I have no idea the fundamentals of any of these altcoins all I do is trade the charts and I think it's safe to say I out trade everybody that trades the fundamentals why because I'm able to buy low sell high um, <clears throat> simple as that so yeah it, it really really interesting question do you do you like the fundamentals of dot my answer is I have no idea what the fundamentals of dot are <laughs> And I'm still able to capture lows. You know, I don't need to know the fundamentals. <clears throat> I look at the chart and all of my trading decisions are based off of that. When I'm trading Atom, when I'm trading DOT, when I'm trading LINK, when I'm trading Ethereum, when I'm trading Bitcoin, when I'm trading GRT, all of the altcoins, all based off of the charts. I, I honestly don't care about the fundamentals. I have no no care in the world about the fundamentals. Um, uh Okay, we will take a look at, uh, I will take a look at it then. Look at it, all these comments of XRP. So we take a look at XRP then. We'll take a look at XRP and then we'll come back to Bitcoin. Uh, XRP, what should we take a look at? XRP against BTC, I suppose. Um, it's been a while since I looked at this alt. And this is why, you know, it's just such a, such a boring old coin. Um, I mean, I mean, I know XRP is a loved altcoin, and I just don't understand why. Um, it just, just, just really don't understand the love for this altcoin. Um, well, actually, I kind of do. People have been sold a dream. People have been sold, uh, basically, people have been sold a dream, and they become obsessed with that dream. Um, and the dream is that XRP is like the best altcoin in the world. So I do understand it, I suppose. Um, but I don't understand it from a, a perspective, anything other than they've been sold a dream. Um, because this is, this is, uh, you know, is this a chart that looks interesting to trade? You know, you got XRP today down 0.05%. Every other altcoin that you could have the opportunity of trading is up today. Continuously, XRP fails and fails and fails and fails and fails and fails. It's just goes down inside it. I don't know. I, I, I understand the love because they have been sold a dream. Do I understand it from a technical point of view? No, I don't understand why you'd be so interested in trading this. I just don't see opportunities here. Um, yeah, I see, I see nothing here. I mean, yeah, you... I've been telling I've been saying this for years. I've been saying this for years move on from xrp you got to move on from this coin <laughs> um and i've been yeah i've been saying that for years uh but anyway for the people that love xrp i don't see too much going on here to be honest with you right at the poc yeah my, i think my biggest uh tip would be move on <laughs> And I know some people are going to say, no, <clears throat> XRP is going to pump. XRP is the best coin in the world. Well, show me where the opportunities are then. I just don't see it. Um, of course, you're in a bit of a range here. But again, you're like right in the middle of this lower boundary of the range. Yeah, I, I see nothing here. 
I see honestly I just see absolutely nothing here. And again, I have no idea about the fundamentals of XRP because I already see people crying. I, I have no ideas about the fundamentals of your coin. Uh, all I do is look at the charts and trade the charts. And for, and for me, I mean, yeah, you could say, Daniel, you want to accumulate when it's low. You want to buy when it's low. Yes, that is true. But then my counter argument to this is I have I have the option of buying from thousands of different altcoins. And, you know, we're going to look at we're going to see 20 altcoins with this same accumulation pattern. And I am just not interested in XRP because I know the fanatic following that it has. Um, and that kind of puts me off it. <laughs> it's put me off it for a very, very, very long time. Um, so, yeah, I'm sorry to upset some people. But it's nothing. Obviously, it's nothing. Um, I'm just speaking the truth of what I think. Uh, just because I don't like XRP doesn't mean you can't buy it. You can do whatever you want. And I'm sure my opinion is is worthless to the people that love XRP. Because whatever you say, they're not going to listen because it's the future. Eh? But yeah, for me, overall, yeah, I see no opportunities on this. So sorry to disappoint. But for me, I have this kind of skill, per se, looking at a chart within five seconds, knowing if I want to buy it or not. And yeah, for me, very quickly, I can just say this is not a chart that looks interesting to me. I mean, just just look at this. Look at it. Massive. Yeah. yeah, this is not a chart that would be interesting to me. It's just, 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 just some of these wicks are absolutely disgusting. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry to upset some people. <laughs> um, <laughs> Bitcoin. Back to Bitcoin. Bitcoin obviously still, still not lost market structure. Still got the stacks. <laughs> this is always the same. I swear. We will. I'm telling you, this live stream will end, and Bitcoin will get a big move. While I'm on live stream, Bitcoin is not going to move. It is the same every single time. Every single time, I swear to God. Really loads of volatility coming up into the live stream. The live stream starts and Bitcoin dies. It just goes absolutely sideways. This is every single time, I swear. Every single time. So if we want some movement, I'm going to have to end the stream. It's as simple as that. You all know it's true. Uh, <clears throat> um... I suppose I'll end with a really, really nice message that I saw today. And that was the one from, from this one from Igor. Um, let, me, let me just read it out. He's referring to a post, which I'll show you in a minute. His words, simply incredible. This is our aim. Coach you, give you the tools, and you will be able to paper trade yourself. It gives him such a joy to read this. Please all take a look at how one person can really achieve his goals of hard work. I thank you, Daniel, and we all thank you, CC Paul. And this is this is another this one, I think, is, again, really inspirational. Uh, some guy from the group. That has. Uh, should I read it out? Yeah, let me read it out. We can keep our eye on Bitcoin. I'll read this out because it's one of these posts that. I think will just be like, hey. I know what I need to do. I know what I need to focus on. And we obviously are focused on the education. Chart champions are not a signals group. Yeah, we sometimes drop a few hints here and there. Yeah, you could sometimes make some paper money on your demo accounts with some of our posts. Everything's good. But at the end of the day, it's like Igor says, we are here. This was started for no reason other than to, to help, period, to educate. Yeah, we want to see you write to us, Daniel, Igor, Mike, Victor, hey, you, George, who's got a lot of love at the moment, you guys have literally changed our lives, yeah, it's like, I had people coming up into Mexico, hey, I want to buy you a drink because you've changed my life, like, this for me was just like, uh, it's just, it's just, it's just incredible, that's the reason we're doing this, we're not here so you can copy us, we're here so in, you know, in a few years time, you're at the ability to say, Hey, I know what I'm doing. I'm making my own trades. I'm making my own plans. Thank you, Daniel. That's what we want to see. It's what we want to see. And it's, this, this post was really brilliant, I truly feel. Um, Hi, champs. Just wanted to share a nugget of personal info that I found very useful over the month, last month or so of trading with Igor and Patrick's trend reversal templates. I primarily trade with Daniel's teachings, the horizontals, the fibs, the volume, the order flow, and the uh, PD levels. 
and I gave with your monthly and your weeklies. I have been trying to learn Igor's CCTR strategy, but it's a bit too time extensive despite seeing pretty good results. He has a full-time job of trading, I'm sure, a family. Same situation as lots of people. Full-time, full, a full-time job, you know, they have another job outside of trading. They're focusing all their time on their job, naturally. They've got a family. You know, they, a lot of people have this same struggle. But of course, you can get around it if you plan correctly. This guy, despite having a full-time job, gave himself a, a, an account of $1,000. And he decided to use and learn the uh, CCTR, which is obviously a strategy created and taught by Igor, which now, of course, naturally many people are trying to steal. Anyway, I digress. Um, and he decided to learn the CCTR strategy. Okay, and he has times eight his account in 47 days. And his challenge is to bring it from $1,000 to $100,000. That's a, so that would be amazing. Currently times eight, which is amazing in itself in 47 days. So for a little bit of info, his strat, he actually switched the CCR, CCTR strategy or from the uh, template from the trend reversal 78.48 to the trend reversal 44.26. To him, this cuts up some of the noise and simplifies the trading. He has found this to have a 93% win rate when combined with the uh, levels of medium term time frame, 30 to one hour. Okay, so e.g. he's using this to get into his swing trades. This is the beauty. This is like what is amazing. As as a as a teacher, I don't really class myself so much as a teacher. I class myself as a trader that shares information. I don't really class myself as a teacher per se because I know my strength is in trading and then I try and share. But as a teacher, quote unquote, as, as somebody that shares, to see, and, and I know for 100% Igor is echoing my words right now, to see yourself teach something and to see that student passionate and loving what they're learning and then modifying your teachings in a way that are, you know, modifying it for their own situation e.g this is a scalping strategy and they've modified the trend reversal to and you know to enable that to a swing trading strategy to see that is just yeah that that that, that is really 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 amazing as as a as like a, a as a teacher to see like a student doing that is really 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 uh, good uh, anyway, his general point here is for those that are learning. I commend you and, of course, thanks Igor for his teaching, an incredible paper trading money machine, uh, printing machine. But if you are struggling with it, don't give up. Figure a way how to integrate trading into your system. Understand how it works and refine the tools. With good risk management, disciplined trading and journaling your trades, you can then use the tool that the chart champions coaches teach to form your own trading system. He has learned tons studying from the all-stars trading strats. They all started like us and formed their own customized systems. He will continue to refine his strategy and stay nimble. And he appreciates the comments and thoughts. And this is his account. Win 84% win rate, 51 trades, uh, won 8,300, lost just under 1,000, maximum win 1,100, average win coming in there at $400. You know, cumulative return 7,300. And I think this is just something that's, um yeah if that's not like inspirational like amazing i i, I don't know what is because for i guess for me I, I'm, I'm a little bit biased but as a teacher that's taught this um to see people have been able to come up with this man it, 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 it is just really really good <laughs> to be honest with you it's just really really good um bitcoin's still at the same level I think I'm probably going to wrap it up then. Um, um, I think I'm probably just going to wrap it up, I suppose. Um, I will end by saying thank you ever so much. Of course, it's really, really, really good to be back. Um, you can expect to see more stuff from us over on YouTube. Obviously, I'll be tomorrow in the Contenders live stream. Of course, that's obviously where we teach all of this material. So if you want to understand all this, if you want to understand the for everything from the harmonics to our daily levels, to the PO point of controls, to the order flow, everything from here and in between. This is obviously what we do. This is what we teach. Um, so if you're interested in that, chartchampions.com. I've uh, got my next members live stream tomorrow for the contenders. Um, and yeah, Bitcoin is, is is asleep. If you want Bitcoin to wake up, I'm going to have to come off of this stream. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So uh, I suppose I'll just end by saying 
<laughs> I, I, I'm I sorry that we didn't get the move because I think we all wanted to see it, either the highs taken or the change of market structure. I know that's what you wanted to see. <laughs> but unfortunately, when I'm here, it's not going to happen. Um, but yeah, e.g. the things that I'd be looking for next would be a change of market structure from taking this low or a move back above the high. If you change the market structure, you'd look back into that mini previous range POC, in my opinion, or into the view app, which you'd use this template for. OK, you've got the DPOC, we WPOC back into this view app. That's the first level, I would say. And obviously above us, well, we're going to be looking back up to that 46, 300 ish. No. So that's the way that I would approach this. Of course, you are going to have to wait for that MS change back down to the pullback where you can look to compound it or really simply it breaks through to CC. That's the way that I would approach this. Not really too difficult. Just requires a bit of patience. You honestly, this is what I say in trading. You spend 90% of your day analyzing the charts, looking for opportunities, and it's only 5% of the time actually trading. The vast majority of your time is spent doing the analysis. It's meant it's spent making the plans. Yeah. You got to be patient. You got to be patient, period. OK. Um, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up there with that, those words. Those are the most important words. Be patient, make a plan. Crush the charts, crush the charts with us. CC Pool said their regards. We're back already number one on the volume. That's what we do. That's what we are. And that's how I'm going to end it. Thank you ever so much, everybody. I uh, hope you've enjoyed today. And I'll be back on the next bit of volatility that we have. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. I have enjoyed making it. I send my love. I send my regards. And that's it. Thank you ever so much. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, everybody. And goodbye. Cheers.